Good day. How my motherfuckers doing on today? This good ass Friday. Uh, what's up to my kings and queens? Oh, empress and empresses, gods and goddesses, princess and princesses. Ooh, where I been getting bitches and bitches? I will never forget about y'all because it's levels to the bullshit. But you better learn before you get. Never mind. Anywho, now it's a motherfucker. It's a motherfucker out here, and you best believe it. And you best to know. You see, it's not the fact, or it's not the fact of the matter. First of all, I want to say is, anybody that make you feel like a child, I mean, it's bad enough they make children feel lowest of the lows nowadays and make them feel stupid and make them do dumb ass shit. I've been seeing people make children do dumb ass shit all day. Not today, but just throughout the day. I see grown-ups, grown-ups make children do dumb ass shit all day. And then, see, this is what you instill in your children. When you tell them, oh, don't let nobody do that to you. Don't let nobody do that to you, but you doing it to them. Right? So they don't know what they are they, they don't listen to what they hearing from you. Don't do that. They listen to what they see from you. So when you tell children. No. Nah, don't let people do that to you. you Dumbass people get me mad, right? <laughs> yes, they do. They do. They do. Dumbass people get me mad. Because. How are you going to say, oh, you let them do it, you do it to them, but don't let nobody else do it to them? Don't let them do that to you. But motherfucker, you doing it to me. I don't know nothing else, motherfucker. So how are you going to tell me, don't let nobody do this to me, and you doing it to me? And this can go from anything, from molestation to taking money stealing sneaking and we got some positive things too you can grow your children in that ways but shit I'm going to tell you what I've been through I'm not going to tell you the imaginary world I'm not I, I'm not I'm, a, I'm, I'm only imaginary for so long baby and I ain't going to go there <laughs> but anywho sitting up here telling people or children and then when they grow up and ain't got no backbone they can see you getting your ass beat I, I remember this one time right real talk this one time growing up I had to be like nine, ten. I'm going to tell you a, two times. One time, I was in the backyard with my brothers and sisters. And my, my brother, some lady on the next block, scratched my brother on the back or something like that. Scratched my younger brother on the back. He came back and told Mom and Daddy, the lady uh, on the next block scratch. Whatever. My father got very pissed off. He he went over there because he thought he was Superman at the time. During those times, you know, they be real cocky when they younger. So he went over there. He he um told the lady, like, you scratch my son on the back. And the, and the point that I'm trying to make here is about the children, so stay with me. The lady said, basically, start fat lipping. Start getting back at them like, yeah, what the, fu what the fuck you gonna do about it, basically. I'm paraphrasing. 
So when she do that, he slaps the lady. Now I failed to mention the lady had four to five dudes on her porch. So when he slapped her, them dudes jump up. Now they ready to fight. And he by himself. This is my father. Now he has to get on Bruce Lee mode. Or Bruce Leroy mode. So he got to cross the field. Boom, he crossing the field. The dude's following him. Like, we about to fuck you up. You just smacked my auntie, my mama, or whoever the fuck he just smacked. So, when he get across the field, now he in the alley, closer to our house. So, you know, he, 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 he closer to home now. So, now you really powered up. Now he really think he's Superman now. So, we in the backyard. We in the backyard. My mother picks up a brick and she said, anybody hear him? I'm hitting you with this brick. I'm throwing this brick at you. She didn't get a chance to use the brick because nobody really handled him. They was afraid of him. Even though it was five of them, they were afraid of him. Because automatically, if you smack the shit out of my mama, I mean, if I was a dude, because you know dudes claim that they so hard. But the children that was in the backyard, we didn't do nothing. Uh, talk about, we didn't do nothing. My, my mother was coming to his defense on that because the children, it was, it was eight of us. We all could have handled them. But we were so afraid that we we was in the flight mentality but we children they ain't never taught us defend the household fight for your family fight for your life they never taught us that so we're not going to react in a oh we about to bust these motherfuckers down them and their war days no <laughs> that's not what we did so when we got back in the house my mother was like, y'all should have helped. Y'all should have, why didn't y'all help? And stuff like that. And I don't, I didn't see my other brothers and sisters reaction. I just know my motherfucking reaction. My reaction was, shit. <laughs> At the time, I didn't even know like, shit, I, I you know I was supposed to help. Hell, you can't go smacking people and think that you about to get some something out of me that was stupid i mean whatever i wouldn't have slapped no lady on her porch with a bunch of dudes right there but that that was brave i mean he did she did scratch my brother's back so i mean but still like i i don't know i i would have thought like damn it's a better way to do that i'm not gonna lie i was a scary as a child i was scary as fuck as a child here's another sense now this time my father went across the street. I don't know why he was fighting this time. But fighting the dude across the street. And my sister Janae, she went out there to fight this time. My mother didn't go. My mother stayed. She she held back this time. She didn't go. Janae went with him to go fight. And she's the only one that had that little spunk around those times. But in the backyard, I don't even remember her being in the backyard. I don't even think she was in the back. I don't even know where the fuck she was. Because she probably would have picked up a brick too. Seeing mom pick up a brick. But the point I'm trying to make is. Your children are not going to do. If you don't teach. The, that was a fight or flight mode. And it was majority of us outside in that backyard to help them if it came down to it even though these were grown ass men and not only that um, when Janae was fighting when dad and Janae went outside to fight the dude across the street the rest of us stayed back because I'm just going to be real with you fighting was not 
something I was even trying to get get into at those ages. Nobody ever said protect. I was trying to protect my own sanity and self. Children are only going to do what they see and what you present in front of them. It wasn't shit presented. And I'm not saying this to bash nobody or anything like that. But if you take this as a bash, you need to get the fuck off. Because uh, you still need to heal your mess. Point of all I'm trying to make is. These children are going to do what you show them. If you don't have no love, no compassion. Because this is all what it boils down to. If you don't have no love or compassion, you cannot give a child love and compassion. They are not going to give you love and compassion. Eventually, when those mothers grow up and they see that I had to fend for my fucking self. I was out here in these trenches by myself. Family teach you that every man is for himself. They get mad when a motherfucker do what they have done to you. But they don't know nothing else. Life has got to teach them, baby. So you can get mad. Oh, you didn't come to my defense. Well, I'm not going to come to your defense. I don't know that part of you. <laughs> and shit, you don't know that part of me. And shit, why would you ask that of me? People will go out. I ain't gonna make this long. I'm probably gonna make it 15 minutes. People will intentionally go out. Okay, eventually I got out of that scared shit because I had to defend myself or motherfuckers would have been running and, and tumbling all over me. You got to defend yourself at this point. My granny. I love you, granny. She would get abused by my grandfather. I used to think growing up that that was weak until I was placed in her shoes. And the motherfucker thought he was going to beat my ass and handle me. My son's father. But no, you're not going to go down without a motherfucking fight. Not with me. Us women have to protect ourselves. Yeah, I might grew up scared under the circumstances of fear was put into me. But when a motherfucker grow up, it's different. And I don't give a fuck if you was father, brother, uncle, grandpa. If you put your hands on me, I'm going to handle you. Because you never, you never protected me. So I learned that I must protect myself. And I hope that all women all around realize this shit. These men that try to manipulate the mind, <laughs> play with the pussy, and try to put their hands on you and square up. This nigga had squared up. I said, come on, bitch. <laughs> Let's square. I love a good square. I'm not going to back down because you a man. No. Because if them men can do that to you and you bear their children. And them men can do that to you and you bear. Period. You a woman. You had them. I know I didn't have you brother. But I had you. Don't you ever try to square up with me. You might as well get me go. Because I'm not going to allow it. I'm not going to allow it. Don't do it. You might as well get me gone. Get me gone. Because I'm not just going to beg. I'm, I've done that enough. I've done that enough. So. 
No, the point of the matter, I was trying to make it all that. Nobody, not even children should feel that way. So um, that dependency mentality that we have nowadays, letting men control and letting women control, even women do it sometimes too. We got them narcissistic women out there that do it. Them crazy BGs that try to control you like a man. That's because they ain't tapped in that feminine, feminine energy. Because they always had to fight for their fucking life. Now they act like a man entirely. Fuck a nigga, go. Fuck a nigga, go. Get what I need, go. They doing what y'all did to us for all those years. They doing it now. <laughs> Funny how the fucking tables turn. But what do I know? I don't know. She, I'm just out here like a little sexy little bitch I am. <laughs> I can't be she is. But that sexy bitch. Oh, that, oh, that got his bitch. But okay. <laughs> I gotta go, y'all. I gotta go. I'll talk to y'all soon, though. Loving guidance, loving guidance all over. Loving guidance all around. Do's, do's. Kiss, kiss. Kiss me back.